Today I'm looking at a little kit from Banggood. So this is a, a flashlight or a torch that runs off a single AAA battery. So it's got some active electronics in it and I thought it would be interesting to, um, to put this one together. So if we have a look at the components that we've been given here. Okay, so first of all there's a nice little circuit board. Um, with plenty of detail where you put the components, that's always good. And then in the bag here, let's have a look. Okay, so we have a big looking LED. Let's see what size is that? That's about eight millimeter, so eight millimeter lead. I presume it's white, but we can test that in a minute. We have four resistors, two 47 ohm, two 22 ohm. So I guess these are current limiting resistors for the lead. Uh, we've got a couple of bits of coiled metal which are for the battery box section. We have a power switch, an inductor, so I can measure the value of that in a minute. That's the top for the button for the switch. And finally we've got something that looks like a transistor but probably isn't because uh, it's in a TO92 case, it's got just the three legs. But let's have a look what that says on it. YX8115. So I'm going to look up the data sheet for that uh, so that I can figure out what that is and what the circuit diagram should look like. So here's the data sheet. So it says LED driver YX8115. So this is reminiscent of the kind of chips that they put in those solar garden lights. So um, in, a, in a previous video I looked at the YX8018 which is the the four pin chip like this that goes in the garden lights. But this is obviously something a, a bit similar. So we've got three pins here. LX would be the output so that drives through a MOSFET inside the device and then you've got the power rails so um, plus plus three volts and ground and so this is the suggested um, suggested way to connect this up so you can see here there's an inductor which our kit has and then the pin 3 is to ground the pin 2 is connected to the battery and then finally you've got the LED which is on the LX pin which is which is the switching output and um, see the value of the inductor here is 47 micro henries which is actually what it says on the printed circuit board so I imagine that we're following this um, this model here so I'll just um, sketch down the the diagram and see if it matches this at all So here's a quick sketch of the of the circuit layout that I just made by shining a torch through the circuit board and overlaying the components on top of the tracks. So you can see that it's um, well, you can see I've, I've refined it a little bit and made it into the the same format as the the data sheet. And if you look at it, um, uh, you see that it's extremely similar to um, what appeared on the data sheet, other than we have a current limiting resistor in series with the uh, LED. So, um, so, we, so um, this is to protect the diode from overcurrent, I suppose. And the other difference is we've got a switch, of course. So there's actually a switch in the negative lead back to the battery. So let's get the soldering iron out 
and um, put these components in the board and um, make it work. So I think I might start by putting in the LED and the switch because these have to match up with the holes on the two sides of the, the case so the, uh, the positioning is quite important here. The longer lead, uh, the longer lead of the LED is the positive. be all right for the LED. The switch is obviously a double pole double throw type but only one set of contacts is used in this so now we have to remember that the button needs to go on as well so that's going to poke through the case like so Something like that will do. Yeah. Okay. I'll solder those up first. Also, if you look carefully, there's an extra couple of holes here by the switch, which um, you can solder a wire into, and I think that's just to hold the switch down so that it doesn't wobble about so much. So there you are, I've made a little loop of wire that goes down through the holes and will hold the switch in place and stop it a little bit from moving up and down.
right, the lead doesn't exactly fit in that gap, so I think I might have to do a bit of filing of the case to get that in in the end. But for now I'm going to press on with the uh, soldering, I think. Okay, the final component is the resistor. Now I've got a choice, so they've, they've given me two 22 ohms, two 47 ohms. So um, I guess this is so that you can choose the brightness for yourself. I'm going to go for one of the 22 ohms to see if I, for maximum brightness. I can always review it later. Right, so that's all the components in place. So the final thing is these two springs. So we've got the big spring for the negative side, which needs to go across these contacts on that side there. And then the flattish spring is for the positive side and needs to go across these ones here. this pair of forceps here which is quite a nice thing for holding um, components that get hot when you uh, when you solder them you can't hold something like this with your fingers when it's solder hot so These don't all need to be electrically connected, but uh, the solder is here to make it mechanically strong, basically. And the same for the 
positive side. Okay, so we've got our battery contacts on as well. So I'll we'll get a battery and we'll give it a test. Okay, the moment of truth. There we are. rather good. See these chips, the the YX8115, that's that's needed in this case because you can't run a uh, white lead off a one and a half volt battery so you need at least three volts dropped across an LED in order to light it up. So um, there's some very clever electronics in here that's oscillating and using the inductor here to store energy so that you can pr produce a, a 3 volt pulse for the LED. Um, and that works really well. Fantastic. So I'll just do a bit of modification on the case now so I can get the LED in and then uh, we should be done. There you go, a few scrapes with the Stanley knife and now the holds the right size for the lead. So there we go, that's quite a nice little pocket torch, a nice little bright white lead torch using only a single one and a half volt AAA battery.